they already have a pile of dog crap with um, Star Wars Outlaws, but now they have this. Now they have this. So right over here, this comes with some The Gamer. Assassin's Creed Shadows Long Dev Time was to make it as authentic as possible. So the reason why it took them, what, six years to make this game is because they wanted to make it as authentic as possible. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and read this article right over here. Assassin's Creed Shadows has been in development for four years, and while that may seem pretty normal given the state of the industry at the moment, that's actually the longest amount of time. So it's four years, okay? A longest amount of time an Assassin's Creed game has been in development, despite the Odyssey and Valhalla Shadows will have been in development for 25% longer than the latter when it launches in November this year. According to the game's lead producer, Carl Onichan, in the interview with a Game Industry Biz, the long development time on Assassin's Creed Shadows is all about ensuring the game has authentic, was, is as, as authentic, authentic as possible. If it's authentic and true, why is Yasuke a samurai? If it's authentic and true, why why did you steal the banner from a uh, reenactment group? If it's authentic as and real as possible, why are all the Japanese people disliking this game? Answer those questions, right? Assassin's Creed games have long been considered incredible feats of historical accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so much that they can be considered educational tools. Wow! Wow! And some, uh, and Onichan explains that getting that to that level of accuracy, uh, right takes time. Quote, we are trying to create a game that is as authentic as possible. It's some time, sorry, sorry, it's something we take pride in, says Oh, uh, is it? I'm assuming it's Onei. I'm not sure how to say it. And that is also a very long process. We, uh, when we build a Japanese house from feudal Japan, it is very different from, say, a French medieval house or an English one. So you have to learn as artists where things go inside a feudal Japan house. Maybe the food doesn't go there. You have to get everything you need to know and learn it, and that the process is long now. Wasn't there some kind of like painting or something like that or some kind of mural that was inside the game that was from a different century? I I can't believe they wrote this article. I can't believe that he he said that. The lead producer said this is the most authentic game in the world. That's why and you can actually use this as uh Educational purposes. Oh my god, dude. Oh, let's see. Assassin's Creed Shadows has its authenticity under a microscope. More than any other game in the series before, Assassin's Creed Shadows' authenticity has been scrutinized relentlessly online, most likely stemming from vitriol surrounding protagonist Yasuke. Arguments have been made over since the game's reveal that Yasuke isn't a samurai, which he isn't. Something which an actual Japanese historian has debunked. Is this Thomas Lockley? Is this Thomas Lockley? Where is it? Historian Yu Hadiyama has written several... Oh my god. Oh my god. The fans of the series have had Assassin's Creed Shadows under microscopes. Okay, okay so the real-life Japanese historical reenactment group... Uh, okay, of course Ubisoft has- sorry, sorry, um, right over here, arguments ever since the Yasuke isn't a samurai, something that an actual, uh, historian has debunked, the fans of the series have, uh, has increased under Microsoft ever since. Of course, Ubisoft has immediately dropped some real, uh, clangers in the past couple of months, most notably using a real-life Japanese historical reenactment group's flag in Assassin's Creed Shadows concept art and allegedly claiming the replica of the One Piece. <laughs> Character Roranora Zoro Sword as Yasuke is still Ubisoft has been doing its best, and while its public statements surrounding concerns over authenticity authenticity have been a little bit lackluster, 
there's obviously a lot of love for the time period that the developers are working with. Now, if that's the case, why didn't they actually hire legit, like, historic? I don't think this person right over here, right? Uh, let's see. Like, right over here, the historian right over here. Considering how long Assassin's Creed fans have been waiting for the future of Japan. Okay, who is you? Yeah, you Hariyama. Was written several books about the Senkoku period has weighed in on the controversy surrounding Assassin's Creed Shadow. Yasuke has stated that there's no doubt that he was a samurai in real life. No, he wasn't, dude. He wasn't, man. Oh my god. Yu Hariyama. Let's see. Okay. Japanese badminton player. Here it is. Yu Hadiyama, also known as a historian specializing in Sengoku period. He has written numerous books about the subject that serves as an industry consultant for historical accuracy media during the Sengoku era of Japan. According to his research, the expertise he confirms that Yasuke is a historical figure of African origin, which is true. Would have been considered a samurai, but uh but uh in awe but name. Given stipend, house, and sword from Nobunaga. Uh, I don't think that's true. If he's all, he would be more of a Bushin than a samurai because in Japanese history and the name is very, very important, right? If you're not given the title of samurai, you are not a samurai, right? Titles in... Like, titles in Japanese culture are very, very fucking important. Like, they are in, like, um... Like, like even stuff... Even, like, medieval times. Even, like, um, non... Uh, what's that? What's a Fictional things like Game of Thrones. Having a title of Lord... Oh! You are technically, um... You're... You know, technicality, you are not a Lord. But you have everything else is a Lord that, that, that you do. But you still don't have the title? That means you're not a Lord. You don't have Lordship. Right? So this is actually not true, which is freaking insane, man. All right, let's go back to the over here. Uh, but yeah, that am I? Uh, that that's a okay. That's the article. Okay, okay. Oh my god, let's see. Going back to this, uh, using this ja quote unquote Japanese historian Yu Hariyama, I don't think it's, I don't think it's actually true. Is because, like I said, like being a lord or having like some kind of title means something like w watching shogun like imagine if uh what's it called again uh uh the main character wasn't given the shogun title then he's no better than any other lord over there versus being a shogun i that's actually insane now the thing is it gets worse Right over here, this is from Reddit. Right over here, it says, I just want to say that if Ubisoft has shown a little respect for Japan's historical heritage, they could have chosen anyone from this list and there wouldn't have been any controversy. The name would have been just an interesting, if not better, because these are legendary samurai with real traceable histories. So basically, I believe this person... Uh, Sanahiro was actually on the, um, the Assassin's Creed Shadows, I believe, uh, Reddit, right? So basically, quoted right over here, Yuki Mura Sanada, KG Maeda, uh, Masamune Date, Tadakatsu Honda, Sakonshima, Toshie uh, Maeda, Kiyomasa Kato, uh, Mune, Munenori ya Yagyu, and Nao, uh, Nao Masa I think E and the ninja Hanzo Hattori. Now, if you go over here, it says Sanahiro is permanently banned from R slash Assassin's Creed. Wow. Hello, you have been permanently banned from participating in Assassin's Creed because your comment violates this community's rules. You won't be able to post or comment but you can still view or and, and subscribe to it. Man. 
that that's saying something man imagine of course these reddit uh reddit moderators are uh, extremely cringe and disgusting uh to say the least but the fact that this guy was like hey how about these characters this guy wasn't saying any hate speech this guy was just giving maybe a recommendation but nope you are banned permanently banned from r slash assassin's creed that wow like i said they don't want anyone saying anything negative about this game because this game needs to do really really well according to what i heard it got a lot of pre-orders because initially the game had a lot of hype right people heard that there's going to be an assassin's creed finally based in feudal japan a lot of people got excited for it people started to pre-order it in my opinion it was a mistake now it show now ubisoft is like oh look at all the pre-orders Look how good it is. People are just mad. No, you got people who are actually from Japan who are extremely mad about this. And you banned this guy by just even making a recommendation. Goes to show that Ubisoft and people especially on Reddit are absolutely fucking retarded.